Hello, Valerie from Waterpress is here. If you're new to our channel, welcome. In this tutorial, we're diving into the Nudiful theme 2025 and some valuable features introduced in WordPress 6.7. You'll also see how 2025 performs and which types of WordPress projects it suits best. If you're thinking about switching themes or want to stay on top of the latest features, you're in the right place. Let's get started. So WordPress rolls out a new theme every year, and there is a good reason for that. Basically, it's their way of showing off the latest design trends and features You've probably noticed they name them after the year, like 2024, 2025. Now, why do they do it? Well, first, it's a great way to highlight new WordPress features. Moreover, it sets the standard for clean, modern code, which helps developers. And of course, it gives users a solid starting point if they don't want to build a theme from scratch. Oh, and another big reason, compatibility. Having an up-to-date theme means there is always a reliable environment that works perfectly with WordPress updates. This new theme is automatically active in every freshly installed WordPress. In an existing WordPress system, it is installed with the last major update of the previous year, but is passive. Now let's examine new features inside the editor going from top to bottom so we don't miss a thing. First stop, styles. The updated styles and typography bring some fresh and exciting options to the table. There are nine style combinations in 2025, including the default one. Each has a unique name that hints at its visual vibe. When you pick a style variation, WordPress automatically applies the associated color palette, typography, and other design adjustments. Speaking of palettes, they represent the color scheme assigned to each style combination. That said, I'm not totally sold on the theme's color choices, but hey, that's just personal taste. What do you think? drop a comment below uh, love them or leave them one thing i do appreciate though is that the selected color palette applies to styles at the top level which is pretty handy and one feature i really like you can choose your typography right there in the settings trust me that makes customization so much easier and don't forget to check out the style book when reviewing your design. It's a handy feature introduced back in WordPress 6.2. And when we click the pencil icon, we unlock even more customization options. So from here, we can also browse styles, but this time we'll focus on typography. WordPress 6.7 includes various improvements to font size management, and here you can create, edit, remove, and apply font sizes. The 2025 theme comes with five default sizes from small to extra, extra large. A key feature is fluid typography. This lets font scale dynamically for better responsiveness, and you can even set custom fluid values for more precise control. You can toggle fluid typography on or off for each font size. And when it's enabled, you get to fine tune the minimum and maximum scaling for a specific area, uh, perfect for ensuring your text looks great across all screen sizes. And of course, you can also manually adjust font sizes to fit your design. And here is something even better. You can add a custom font size, adjust its values, rename, and save it for later. And if you change your mind, of course, there is an option to delete it 
anytime. Now let's move on to pages. First, you'll notice the slightly revamped interface, but before we dive in, let me quickly delete this test page I added earlier. All right, back to it. You can now filter pages by author and status and select a layout that suits you best. Oh, and here is a nice touch. Page authors now have avatars for easier identification. Next, let's add a new page directly from the editor. Honestly, it's a tremendous time saver. Every time you create a new page, suggested patterns pop up. You can browse through them and, for instance, select one you prefer. Or if you find this behavior annoying, don't worry, I'll show you how to turn it off later in this video. And once I've chosen a pattern, I'm ready to start editing. First up, changing the template. I want my homepage to be without a title. So the best option for me is the page no title template, of course. The right template for your homepage depends on your specific goals. And now I want to show you one of the best new features in my opinion. It's called Zoom Out. Uh, this is already a great feature that makes editing much easier and faster even without the preview feature and gives you a much better overview of your content, making it even more convenient to work with patterns. The zooming in and out also works in the blog editor. It's a small change, but it improves the workflow significantly. To get a clear view of the content hierarchy, I open the list view and just like that, the entire page layout appears complete with the header and footer, and when editing a page in the site editor, things can get a bit confusing. You can see the content block. The content block in WordPress isn't just another block. It has a special job. It acts like a placeholder of the main content of a page, and that's why you can group it like other blocks. So why is that? First, the content block is a part of the template structure not the actual page content and it's designed to pull in the page content dynamically and and if you could group it it might interfere with how wordpress displays that content second it's already a container and grouping it wouldn't really change anything since it, it's meant to hold the editable content inside Instead, you can group the blocks inside it, like text, images, or buttons uh, to create custom layouts. And finally, there is a clear separation between templates and content, and the template controls the overall layout, while the content block ensures each page or post uh, displays its unique content. So uh, that way, you don't accidentally mess up the template when editing a single page. What you do instead, if you want more control over the layout and design, you should edit the template by clicking the three dot menu in, list, in the list view. Once you've grouped a few blocks, you can select different styles for the entire group. And this is a nice way to quickly apply a consistent look to multiple blocks at once without having to adjust them individually. As I've promised to show you how to disable starter patterns when creating a new page, first you should open the three dot menu in the editor toolbar. Click on Preferences, uh, Toggle Show Starter Patterns on or off. So if you find the pattern suggestions in a way, now you know how to turn them off. Now we're in the template section and I want to show you a quick demo of how you can apply an alternative design to any of the 2025 theme templates 
with 2025 switching templates it's very easy in the design panel you'll see previews of available alternative designs hover over a preview and you'll spot the design name click on it and wordpress will automatically replace the current template content with your chosen design let's say i'm working on my single post template and i want to switch to a vertical header layout i just pick and apply a ready-made design so no need uh, so i don't need to manually rebuild everything from scratch wordpress does it this makes customizing templates faster which is great for testing out different looks for now this feature seems to work only in 2025 if you're using 2024 or other block themes you might not see this option at least not yet since wordpress 6.7 we can customize the column order in the table views let me show you this using the example of the patterns interface but you can do it in the templates and pages sections too we just use move left or move right to reorder the columns there are options to sort ascending or sort descending as well now in grid layout there is an option to adjust the view of patterns pages and templates and you can use a slider to modify the thumbnail size and even specify the number of items per page which is very convenient for example with 70 patterns currently available this makes browsing so much easier you can also rearrange items using up and down arrows Oh, and check this out. When you publish a post, you now have the option to automatically upload images from the patterns. That said, there is a bit of a legal gray area here. You can always be 100% sure those images are free to use but let's be real most people will probably swap them out for their own images anyway so something to keep in mind with wordpress 6.7 we can add borders and drop shadows to group blocks and have much more control over how our content looks first We've got the border radius feature, which lets us create smoother corners for a more polished look. And if you want to add some depth to your design, you can apply drop shadow effects. Oh, by the way, here is the neat part. You can add these effects to a paragraph box uh, all on its own. No grouping required choosing the right theme depends on your project generally websites fall into three main categories portfolio sites blogs and online shops in the wordpress 6.7 roadmap and mccarthy noted that the 2025 theme seeks to be the ultimate use case for a spectrum of bloggers and from what we've seen it does just that as I already mentioned today, the theme includes four sets of alternative designs for different blogging needs. Text-only blog focuses purely on text. Photo blog is ideal for photographers or visual content creators. News blog features a layout designed for news or magazine style content and blog with vertical header has a more modern approach giving your blog a unique and stylish look and if you're planning a blog project 2025 is the right theme for every case thinking about running an online store now while storefront has long been the go-to theme for WooCommerce it's starting to show its age and first it's not a blog theme second the design tools are pretty basic and let's be honest it's not the most modern looking theme anymore that's where 2025 comes in and wordpress paired with uh, with the woocommerce plugin 
turns into a full-fledged e-commerce platform and as a blog theme it gives you full control with full site editing and you can drag and drop WooCommerce blogs wherever you want and if you're building a comprehensive portfolio site say for a service provider 2025 gives you all the flexibility you need but here is the catch unlike 2024 which came with a ready-made portfolio layout on the home page you'll need to put in a few extra clicks to get things set up so what's the best choice it all comes down to what matters most to you quick setup or the most modern design so that's a wrap on our deep dive into the 2025 theme and wordpress 6.7 we've explored everything from style variations and typography improvements to the handy new zoom out mode and template customization options as always wordpress keeps evolving and makes site building more user friendly we'd like to know what you think of these updates let us know in the comments below and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more wordpress insights see you in the next one